Alright guys, so welcome back to Suck on an Island. I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. Now, I know my subscribers well enough to know what the next question is. Where is this place? Now, I'm um, definitely not going to give it away because um, Raj introduced this place to me and you know, it was mentioned that it should be kept a secret. Now, on our way come up here, he did tell me a story where you know, some quote unquote foreigners you know, came here and they put up a whole bunch of no trespassing sign trying to purchase a property, try to make it become like some, how can I say, a local tourist attraction. Now, let's be honest, you know, being Jamaicans, it's really sad when our little local spots, fishing holes, rivers, diving holes, whatever you want to call it, you know, become commercialized, meaning that you have to pay to enjoy your beautiful country. Yeah, if you know where this place is, great, no problem. But I will not, um, you know, publicize it on social media because this is a spot for the locals. They come here to, you know, swim, chill out, cook, whatever the case is. So, if you know, you know. So you guys know on my channel I'm always doing some level of cooking. So whenever me and Raj link up, make him angle the cooking, you see me? <laughs> so he did a, a snapper catch. For me it's the biggest snapper I've ever seen in my life. So I'm gonna show you a footage of that of him catching the snapper, which I think is really amazing. And yeah, Raj leave the pot. So we were supposed to cook up some like a cook down of the fish like we did last time with plantains, but this time it's going to be a very rustic dish, it's going to be like a roasted fish. But anyway, you guys will see him catching the fish and also how he cooks it. Alright guys, so the last time I watched Raj, um, a video that he did, he um, did a, what you call it, China bamboo whistle? Yeah. Growing up I've never seen this, maybe you did, if you did see it, drop it in the comments, if you never did, now you learn something new. We can't easy. it. Put it from right down. Halfway. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, go try it, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let me fix it. All the way down. 
Like that though. Yeah, take your time and go down with it. Go on. Go down some more. Try it about there. Like this one. Oh uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, try it about it then. Hehehe. Bamba! I'm missing my work, brother. Bamba! <laughs> no, you can't make it close, you know. Just put without holding it. Just put it in your mouth without holding it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll try the next one. Yeah, <laughs> this is not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, so, what the hell? I'm not get it. So, how come you're whistling now? Now, look. I don't know, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna inspect it and see. I don't know how it's going to work. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, dog, let me catch you. Oh, now I'm get the concept. I never blow it properly. Because oh. the concept is you have to blow it hard enough so that the ear stops yourself yeah. and then force it way through this. Yeah. So I never know that my thing says supposed to like pass through this specially. But the concept may never catch. Okay, may catch it now. So what, what basically happens guys is that the, the wind forces all the way here, stops at the bamboo joint, then it have to pass through this little fine slit and that's how the noise happens. See? <laughs> <laughs> Girl them dead on dog! <laughs> Some of the simplest stuff them are like me feel so happy, I feel like a little picnic brother. I swear to you. Alright, so the part I know you guys love seeing is the cooking part. Yeah. So, Raj, how much pound is for this? Uh, four pound. Four pound? Yeah. Alright, see. And what are the biggest you've ever seen or caught? Like 10, 15 pound. 10, 15 pound? Yeah. Alright, see. Um, mutton snapper. And tell them what happened with that snapper catcher. What do you have? Boy, shark nearly take my life to him. Shark, right? <laughs> yeah, man, two shark. Um, two? Yeah. yeah. It was more than two, you know, but um, the other one, the other one, them go, isn't it? Yeah. And like two of them decide to stay, brother. And one piece of bottle, them come right up on top of the service, and a circle me, a circle me. You have to use the spear gun and just drip them, to them go. Eh? You have to hold the snapper out of the water, right? Yeah. Like this, and just have the gun, and just pop the back where you're going. And I tell you, yo, it was epic, brother. Epic. Well, intense, man, I tell you. But. I have a piece of, um, piece of clip when I shoot the snapper and you see the shark just come up and try to grab off it. Yeah. Yeah, we just have that clip This will cook. Carol ah. Harris. Alright, 
Alright, so remember what someone did comment like how do I start fire as well? There are several methods, but I like to use this method especially when um, it's very windy. Up here it's not windy though, but I'm going to use it nonetheless. So have like a cotton swab that has some kerosene or you can put a rum depending on how you want to travel. Just drop it in there and then light it. So with that it actually gives you some time. So if you're in a very windy situation you don't necessarily need to um worry about the wind because just one slight gash will start it and then always make sure that you start with very small and dry pieces of wood and then over time it will move from those smaller ones to the even bigger ones so you can't force the fire alright guys so now I'm going to plant and then go on roast roast like planting guys when I turn on it's a whole vibe out here especially let me have my personal chef today <laughs> yeah boy it's a whole vibe man it's a really great vibe no lie alright so I just have some roast sweet plantain do you see the sweet plantain yes I do Point out the sweet plant. Make sure I see the dog. One already. One already. Yeah. We'll find next one in now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, kind of fish. What? I make a grill. It's gonna be the grill, son. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some seasoning. Maggie, hear me now and hear me loud. Sponsorship. <laughs> Sponsorship! Raj never left Maggie. I uh, want a piece of pepper. Alright guys, so as Raj prepares the meal, I saw, <laughs> it was so funny, he was like, I can't believe I never, that I never saw this, because you know, I like them type of vibes, yeah. and there's like a really cool little waterfall thing up here, and um, to give you guys an idea of the water, it's fairly cold, nice and chilly, but nothing to really complain about. Oh. I know a lot of you that love to be able to stick your feet in the water. Eh? Wow. <laughs> wow. You now you see, go back to what I was talking to you about like some of these spots sometimes it's good to keep it amongst um, you know Jamaicans and people who live here live here you know meaning live in this side of the island you know this is their place 
where they have the simple luxuries to just relax and just enjoy life. You know, sometimes persons want to come to the island and buy these places when they have pools in their foreign country or whatever the case is. And this is our pool. Many persons are not able to afford a pool here. So, you know, why should they have to pay to come in to enjoy their country? And as far as I'm concerned, looking here, I don't see um, like a whole heap of debris or anything like that. You know, it's just magical, man. That was completely wicked. Um, if you guys are looking for rivers or waterfalls or stuff like that, any parish you go to in Jamaica, you know, ask the locals, you know, just ask any of it. Um, like, for example, I'm from Chile, and if you ask me, like, you know, what's a nice spot to go to, I might tell them Mata Bray. You know, there's also a nice fishing hole where I live. Or if you come any part of the island, just ask them, and chances are they will point you out to maybe a hidden gem. And as I said before, it's better that way, you know. We can come up here and use this spot and there's not going to be tons of persons, you know, taking photos and Instagramming and all that crap. You know, it's a very serene place that who knows, you know. <laughs> oh, I got like nice thick slabs of fish. I like his skin still cut it. The skin have a whole heap of flavor. So I'm learn some pan raja I never know. If you bleed out the fish, you get a white on it, so? Yeah, better taste it. And better taste it. I never know the fish it up. Um, I call it blood in the meat and everything. Like Sound crazy still, but. Yeah, man. You want to um, chew it on the, on the plant at the same time? Put them together, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice river. Guys, just jump off in the water. The true man know the water here, look. Yeah, nah, just jump off in it to blow out. I don't know the man of hard work. Oh. Woo. Blow out. <laughs> Oh snap, brother! Alright guys, that was a freaking solid 24 hours, let me tell you. Complete vibe, completely enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys caught the part where I jumped off into the waterfall. So my battery was like on 5% or something like that. Raj, you never catch it, right? I say nice here. No, we catch it when they jump under the water. Okay, so that's the vibe basically. Um, as I said to you guys before, I'm taking a week um, from filming. You guys might not notice it, I said it in the last video. But yeah, I need to give myself some time to like heal up, you know, from this whole damn allergic reaction. And um, yeah, 
I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope you guys um, stay safe, you know, stay home as much as you can. Um, and as soon as this whole issue gets done and uh, in and over with, take those adventures, you know. Oh, and big up to the people who have been cooking the dishes that I've been making. That's so awesome. You guys have more time at home, you know, make those dishes. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Remember these three things, love, nature, adaptation. And always remember, keep the link. Raj. Gone, people, my gone. Mm, this is life.